In this video, we're gonna show you how we made this Unreal Engine short film in a weekend. Oh, halt! Who goes there? My, my, my. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. I'm Throck of the Green Hill Tribe. I'm here to partake in your castle's festivities. Festivities? All you orcs do is pillage! We're using Move AI, a camera-based, markerless, suitless motion capture system combined with Unreal Engine's MetaHuman Animator face animation pipeline. The idea behind this test was to capture two actors' body and face performances simultaneously to achieve genuine interactions, eyelines, and timing between the actors. We aim to create a pipeline with minimal friction for the actors and director, allowing them to walk into a motion capture session put on head rigs, and jump right into the scene with as little discomfort and hassle as possible. Watch to the end of the video to see the final film and how we think this technology is causing a paradigm shift in how we produce movies. For this project, we're using some custom metahuman assets. The medieval armor and the guard's uniform come from the medieval armor pack by Polyphoria, which provides high quality modular armor that's easy to use. You simply drag different parts over the skeletal mesh slots on the metahuman and apply the appropriate materials. The orc character is also from Polyphoria. Although it's not a metahuman initially, it has detailed face rigging and blend shapes. I hired an artist on Upwork to convert it to a metahuman using the MetaPipe conversion pipeline. This is a very in-depth process on its own and remains one of the hardest parts of bringing these metahuman creatures to life. The castle in our scene was also from the Unreal Engine marketplace. I adjusted the angle of the sun to act as a cross key light for our scene and added some easy fog by William Fauché. We didn't have a specific script or story we wanted to tell. Our main goal was to test the pipeline in essence. So forgive us our terrible writing. I promise there is much better coming soon. That is the worst poetry I've ever heard in my entire life. But you smiled. That's got to count for something, eh, mate? We start in the motion capture stage, which in this case is an empty garage. We have six GoPro cameras set up in a ring to cover an area of around 100 square feet, or 9.2 square meters. Each actor wore a head rig with an iPhone to capture facial animations simultaneously with body animation. After syncing the face and body animations with a hand clap and mouth pop technique, we performed the scene in one take. What else you got? Once we had our best take, we uploaded the footage to the Move AI cloud processing platform. We labeled the files and uploaded them for processing, which took a few hours. After processing, we previewed the animations and downloaded the files for each actor. We imported the animation files into Unreal Engine, starting with the Move AI pre-retarget skeleton. Then we imported the body animations for each actor and using Unreal Engine 5.4's built-in retargeting function, mapped the animations to our metahumans. Next, we transferred the face animations from the LiveLink app on our iPhones to the computer, imported them into our project, and created a new metahuman identity. We then processed the metahuman performance, and this is where the real magic happens. In just a few clicks and a few minutes of processing, we have AAA quality facial animation right out of the box. We place our metahuman characters in the map where we're going to be filming our scene. We synced the face animations with the body animations. I highly recommend getting a head rig to record the face animations at the same time as the body animations. While you can record the face animations separately, little subtleties in the eye movements will not be correct, and this is a leading contributor to the uncanny valley. All you... <laughs> Let me reset. Let me reset. So, now we have all the raw animations synced and on our characters. As you can see, the raw Move AI animation is pretty jittery. I have found this to be a bit worse when capturing two actors simultaneously versus just one. To smooth out jittery body animations, we baked the body tracks to the MetaHuman control rig and used the Curves Editor to apply a low-pass Butterworth filter. This reduced high-frequency jitters, especially in the head and arms, without compromising the animation's integrity. Now comes the fun part. With all the animations imported, synced, cleaned up, and assigned to their characters, we have the scene playing out right in front of us, just like a play. 
We can fly around in real time, looking at the scene from every possible angle. There are a lot of trade-offs to creating films like this, but this process has just brought a crazy amount of production value to a fairly low budget production. The Move AI license costs roughly $7,000 per year to capture two actors at the same time, but this is cheaper than using two X-Sense suits. The hands are still pretty hit or miss, but the face animations from MetaHuman Animator are incredible. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking. Please leave a comment to let me know if you would like me to go into any of the processes in more depth in future videos. Now, please enjoy the film. Oh, halt! Who goes there? My, my, my. Take it easy, take it easy. I'm Throck of the Green Hill Tribe. I'm here to partake in your castle's festivities. Festivities? All you orcs do is pillage! My, my, my. Them, them pillaging days are behind me. I'm here to trade, not raid. What could you possibly have to trade with us? How, how about a bit of this fine orcus jelly? It's a hit among me people, eh? Orcus jelly? Ugh, oh, this sounds revolting. But, um, I could, I could sing you some melodies, eh? Melodies? What about some poetry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, that's a fine idea. <clears throat> um, some orcish poetry. <clears throat> oh, castle, big and strong. Let me in, you ding ding dong. That is the worst poetry I've ever heard in my entire life! But you smiled. That's got to count for something, eh, mate? Maybe. What else you got? Uh... Um... Uh, wisdom? Insight. Uh, uh, an orcish perspective on raiding castles. After all, who better to consult on keeping orcs out than an orc that wants in? Fair point, I guess. Shall we then, uh, discuss this over a, a fine pint of mead? Well, no orc has ever asked me politely for anything in my entire life, to be honest with you. And, uh, now that I think about it, I think that jelly, I gotta get some of that in my belly. Come on. I shall follow as docile as a lamb. I'm gonna get so much trouble for this.